Hey everyone, my name is James from Better Music, and today we've got a flagship Roland drum kit to show off to you today. It's the new VAD 706 kit. Let's check it out. So first things first, this is a serious looking drum kit. You've got full big sizes, you've got maple shells, not poplar anymore, this is maple, this is a premium product. Eight ply, and the finishes are much higher quality. They're no longer a wrap finish, these are painted maple shells, so you get that beautiful natural wood grain finish. You've got four different finishes to choose from. You've got a gloss natural, a gloss ebony, a gloss cherry, as well as a sweet white finish. The thing I'm most excited to share with you in this video is the third addition to the digital triggers. You've got a digital ride, you've got a digital snare, now we've finally got the digital hi-hat the VH14D. 14 inches, thin and lightweight pads. The way that they, this actually behaves with the positional sensing on board allows you to get a really realistic playing experience on the first half of this pad, allowing you to put pressure down and it will actually change the pitch like in an acoustic hi-hat. And as you gently release it off, it's so defined in what it's picking up, it's able to pick up those slight little differences where you might want to accent when you put your bass drum down to the floor just to give it a bit more thickness in what you're playing. There'll also be updates available to the TD27 and the TD50, the old module, to accommodate the new digital hi-hat. The sizes of the toms are 10 by 7, 12 by 8, 14 by 14, with a 22 by 18 inch bass drum. With a unique trigger layout specifically designed for the best response on each tom, the bass drum features a Remo fiber skin head, which you can also swap out for your own custom band logo head if you wish and two of Roland's flagship 16-inch thin crash cymbals. Currently, the kit comes packaged with the DTS-30S hardware. Now, that is two combination tom and crash cymbal stands, one separate boom stand for the ride cymbal, as well as a separate module stand, which allows much more flexibility of where you want to place your module. The second point is the new TD50X. Now, is this just a TD50 with the X thrown on the end? No, it's completely redesigned. What are some of the cool things that are different about this? The original TD50 had 400 sounds. All those sounds have been remixed and remastered for this new sound module, as well as an additional sounds and kits loaded in, taking it up to well over 900 sounds available. It features expanded impulse response technology, as well as more options to expand the editing parameters for the overhead mics, which allow you to recreate a more realistic playing experience and more realistic room tone. If you're using your own preloaded in samples, the new crossfade tool allows you to seamlessly integrate both the quieter dynamic sound and your preloaded in louder sound to make it a much more realistic crossover so when you're transitioning from quieter dynamics to a louder dynamic sampled sound, it sounds much more natural. There are quite a few applications I can see this kit being used for. Some of them are theater performers, where you need to keep the, the actual acoustic energy sound 
quiet, but still be able to respond just like an acoustic instrument. So this is a great option there. You can even customize your set list. So you can have different kits for each song. You can have it all MIDI clocked synced. So it's all running in time together and monitor yourself here with nice easy mixer controls on board here. Great for a gigging drummer. Churches is another great area I can see this being used for. Quite often churches might be untreated acoustically and trying to keep down the overall sound pressure levels. Going something like this is going to be great. It's going to keep the sound down. It's going to give you way more versatility for each song. Maybe you want a ballad style drum kit for the first set. Maybe you want at the end cook it up a bit and start using a bit more of a gospel style drum kit with some different toms. You can do all this and program the set inside it or for larger church groups who might have quite a few different venues around the world, they can create a set, load the drum kit in, you can download the file, and then you've got the same kit that is recommended for that set list. Corporate gigs such as weddings or functions, as well as live streaming, just allows ease of use for setup, left, right, out, ready to rock and roll. Venues who have sound restrictions might want to buy these as well because it means you've got full control on how loud the drum kit is. Allowing gigs to go th right through the night, feels good, sounds good, looks good. So how would I use this for a real world example? The first thing that I like to do is I like to just kind of customize the playing experience a bit more for myself. So I like to change the tension on each tom pad because I find that they're a little bit too tight coming out of the box. So I just take it down, it doesn't affect the triggers. So you can have it pretty loose and it responds beautifully. So that makes it feel a lot nicer for me to play. The second thing I do is I like to take off these little rim protector hoop things. They're nice and they make it a little bit quieter, but I like the feel of my stick hitting the metal. It just makes it more realistic for when I'm doing rim shots and stuff like that. And aesthetically, I think it looks a little bit more convincing because you've got that beautiful shiny chrome triple flange tube to see. The third thing I like to do is probably put some third party uh, sounds on board, something like, you know, tune track or superior drummer. And then that way I can really customize the sound that I'm going for, for my live performances. For those seasoned players who play the same gigs quite a lot in the same venues, you can even customize a drum kit for that venue. You can just play a groove, press play once you've recorded a little snippet of your playing, go to the front of house, have a listen to how it sounds. Okay, what's not working? The bass drum's maybe a bit too low in the resonant frequency. I can go right up there, quickly change it, tune it a bit, tweak it a bit, and then go, you know what? That's the best sounding kit and the frequency response for this venue. Save it for the venue, ready to go next time you're there. The new hi-hat really is a step closer to being able to translate the skills that you learn on an acoustic hi-hat to the digital realm. Being able to gently open them and hear the responses is a huge step in the right direction for transitioning from acoustic to electric and electric to acoustic. And that's been the new VAD 706 by Roland. Let us know your thoughts. Give us some comments um, below. Please hit us up if you have any questions. Uh, we're really looking forward to engage you there and I'll see you in the next video.